Uh, three out of our four regions, the three largest ones, are growing double bit digit, around 20%. So uh, actually, you know, our, our brands are on fire. And uh, we're seeing quite a discrepancy between the doom and gloom, which is in the media, and what is happening in the real world. Uh, con at home consumption slowed its growth, that's true, but it's uh, stabilized at a very high level. Meanwhile, out of home consumption is very, very buoyant. Bob, just looking through the regions too, and I can see your point uh, given the, the double digit growth you're seeing in a lot of different areas. How much of this is rearview mirror, though, do you think? Are we still living off the back of some of the pent up demand story from COVID that people are uh, enjoying consuming at this stage versus what lies ahead with interest rates tightening and some of the economic conditions worsening? I, I think the uh, consumer's reaction to COVID is, is here to stay for a long time. After being locked down for many, many, many months, I think, irrespective of the economic situation, people still want to go out. Uh, conviviality is very important to them. They want to meet friends, they want to meet family. And at the end of the day, you know, spirits are an affordable luxury. I, I think it's fascinating, Lisa. You know, you split the analyst community here. Looking at the calls this morning, uh, Jeffries have um, cut your target uh, from 11 to 10 Sorry, euros, man. while uh, Bernstein have lifted it to 11.6 from 11.3. So th there seems to be some division here. I suspect it's on the point that you were making, Bob, about trying to forecast what the growth path looks like here for Italy and for um, the global economy. Um, and you seem to be generally more upbeat, I think, than many we talk to. Our biggest challenge right now is actually satisfying demand. And, you know, that is uh, clearly a, a good position to be in. And we're starting to invest uh, in, in, into significantly growing capacity across our plants around the world. I mean, that's where we are right now. And I think the market is in a different space. And I think the market is probably a little bit more driven by emotion right now than by actually uh, fundamentals. Yeah, well, that's great to hear your, your view on that. Look, what, one of the big drives, I think, in the industry over recent years has been for premiumization, and you, you've been engaged in that game as well. Get the consumers to spend a little bit more on a higher quality product. Do you have any um, sense at all that they might actually start trading down if budgets become a little tighter at the household level? We're not seeing, first of all, we're not seeing any uh, trading down. And what, you know, history teaches us is that in hard times, potentially you do have a channel shift. So consumers go out less often, consume more at home, and there might be also shifts into uh, bigger sizes. Having said that, you know, if you look at certain markets like Italy, what we've seen is that, you know, during recessions, actually, consumers shifted from going to restaurants to going to lounge-style uh, bars, where they go for the long aperitivo for the price of one cocktail, anywhere between five and ten euros. They have free access to a uh, food buffet. So we actually grow in those moments.